This is Planet Crafter. It's been out for a while, but it just had a major update. It was the fish and the drone update. And there's some exciting things. One of the coolest things is the waterfall area was redone and it's really beautiful. And something I haven't done before that I decided to try is to start as close as I can and to make my way to the waterfall as quickly as I can. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So start a new game and we're going to start in the meteor crater which i think should allow us access from there and we should be able to get over there pretty quickly so let's go ahead everything else is standard let's go ahead and give it a load and let's see what we can do what kind of damage we can get done first thing i want to do Is make backpack. Now give us a little bit more room, and we'll never make it over there if we just run. So we have to do a little bit of preparation. Right over there is where we're gonna head. Just on the other side of that should be the waterfall. Um, actually forget what I said I needed now. Let's go back and take a look. Uh, another silicone and a, uh, looks like a bunch more silicone and high, and the magnesium. I'll grab you over there. Some silicone. I'm not going to open these crates yet. Um, I've seen several times people recommend not opening the crates. I usually do. Um, sometime when we come back, I'll get down there before the water starts filling in. Okay, we'll get that added, and for oxygen, I know we're going to need two cobalt and a magnesium. Gotta remember to grab my food, too. There's cobalt, magnesium, and one more cobalt. It's not going to give us much, but it will make it a little bit easier on our run over there. Dying in this game isn't a big deal, but of course the goal is to always try not to die. If it does, like I said, in this game it's not really that major of a deal. Alright, so I need another iron. Let's grab at least a couple of these and oxygen. And let's... Can I make it? Can I make it? And an iron. Another iron. Let's see. Ready to go. Let's see how much food did I grab? Two. That should be enough. We can come back and get some food later. Don't want to overfill on our inventory. So, like I said, we're going to try to make our way over there to that arch. If I can grab another one of these and an iron, then I know I'll be able to make, there's an iron, a crafter. Let's see. A little bit more oxygen. 
I have my tank, but I'm trying to save that for a big emergency. Although sometimes when it gets to be a big emergency, I panic and can't seem to find it. <laughs> so. Gather up some iron on the way. It's one thing you can't have too much of, especially at the beginning of the game is iron. See, with, without our extra oxygen, it would have been, you could have made it, but it'd be a little bit more difficult. You probably would have to build a couple times by now. So it makes it a little bit easier run. And look, there's the waterfall. So yeah, I definitely can make it. to decide where to set up the base. Uh, inventory fall. That's what I was kind of wondering. Now to decide where I want to build. I can't build too close to the waterfall because a lot of this here will go underwater. I think by this rock over here, I think is a fairly safe place. Let's draw it up one more time. put down these foundation things, these um, foundation grids, but I like to do that at the beginning. I, I don't like to have my buildings look like they're floating, so. Let's grab another titanium. Just a little bit more room. And then before I do that, let's drop the crafting station. Give ourselves some power. Now the hunt for more minerals, especially iron. First thing we'll do is get our drills going. Drop another 
energy. Give us a little bit of storage. Let's get some oxygen tanks going. I want to make a run. Our first, first goal is to try to get things going to where we get a blue sky. That's going to be our very first milestone, is getting blue skies. Let me see. make a run for it. See if we can make it. Um, actually, before I do that... Let's unload. storm coming in. This will be dropping more iron and titanium, more of the different things we need to gather. off now. We've got more room. Um, need the agility boots. Tank 2. Some more oxygen. We'll grab all that. I think that's it. I don't think there's much more here that can help us. Let's see if I go here. Get rid of this. See, we're kind of full there. Put that one back, grab that, open this, put the T1 tank back. We don't need any of this other stuff. Nope. Later on in the game, we'll get a thing that allows us to actually dissemble um, things that we've made, and we'll be able to take those and dissemble them, but... For right now, there's not much we could do. They just take up inventory. Oh, wow. So pretty. Really love this game. This is actually kind of a relaxing game. It, um, if you die, it's not really that big of a deal. But like I said earlier, that main goal is to try not to die. But like I said, in the rare case that you do, it's one of those things that's not a major issue. Looks like there must be a floating rock somewhere. Or a weird shadow. Oh, I see some nice things here. Get some aluminum. And we made it back, but now we have a T2 tank and we have the exoskeleton, even though we haven't advanced to that level, it gives us a little bit of a better start. Oh, I ran back without those in. My mistake. 
rookie mistake. Let's see. Okay, now let's build, ah, uh, we have to open up some of these crates. Now there is one out here. Need some, oh. Got a couple of iridium, perfect. This is, I think this is gonna be a, see now we got our tank too, even though we already have one. I think this is gonna be a nice area to build in. Let's grab the silicone. Drink that water. And I didn't need it yet. Now we have a heater. And what this does, let's get this up so we can see the progress progression. Um, Nice thing is you can set these things down anywhere and we just lost power. And you can always pick them up again without any penalty. I love that. I think that's one of the extremely nice features in this game. Well, it's good to know I can start in this waterfall area. I think this is going to be fun. And we'll be able to actually watch the waterfall as it um, fills in. I've started in some different areas before. And one of the things that I don't like is when you start like in the... Um, oh, it's behind the sulfur area where they have the falling sands. You can't really tell when you start getting the water level because it's all dry out there even during the game. So this should be a good area to build because I should be able to see all that. Let's throw this down. I just feel like it's a little bit of a waste in the beginning, but... like to have something to set my stuff on. It's another silicone and an iron. We're quite a ways from the fish thing. Stage, so let's see where we're at now. We need to craft a veggie station. Need some ice, iron, magnesium. Let's have some down here. Grab all that, get that cleaned up. Yeah, this here will all be underwater.
have some iron, we should be able to build this. And get some flowers going. See the little flower there starting? <laughs> The, since the craft a screen progress, but we have to wait till that's unlocked. That's not unlocked yet. You can always come here and look and see what you have. And you can see here, we have to get this up, our heat, up a little bit more. So we can just keep building. Need another iron. Always iron. Like I said earlier, when I started this game, one resource you can't seem to get enough of early game. Yeah, this area changed even from the last um, because I did build out here not as a first game but I did come up here and put up a building near the waterfall and they moved everything and so it buried my it kind of buried my my stuff so it's big changes out here it's really nice so I really like the changes let's see another heater so you can look up here and you can see the impact each device has as we put them down we should be able to place another drill and we lost power get power back Get some more iron so it gets more power going. We have a lot of access to different things here. Um, over in that direction, it's kind of the dark area and then Behind one of these rocks, I think, it's over there. It goes down to the mushroom, the hidden mushroom area down below. Make some more water. Over here though, let's put up another turbine and another turbine. Just because you never have enough electricity. You can see things are starting to unlock. This should unlock here when we hit 500. Let's make water. iron sometimes it doesn't stick out very well either it's um oh, there's some it does have a little bit of a glitter to it more so than the other rocks but it's still Oh, my door is full 
that game. Well, this was a pretty good start, and at least now I know I can definitely start in the waterfall area. A little bit of benefit. I, I don't think those extra things are that huge because you already saw everything that I've got except for the agility boots has already been unlocked. Um, so probably the biggest thing that would be the agility boots getting those so early. Let's go ahead and throw another one of these out. And another one of these. Well, I guess that's, I'll call that for today, but that gives us a good start. We definitely know now that we can build out here in the waterfall area. I'm very excited to see how this progresses compared to the lake and to watch it actually grow. There's a wreck over there on the other side. Um, of course, there's some hidden wrecks. Um, I don't know what you'd actually call them bunkers, I guess, up in, in that area. And, of course, way over there is another hidden bunker area. I think it's probably one of the more difficult areas to start in, but I don't think it's that bad. And, but I guess that's it. That's, we'll call that a day. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button if you'd like to see more. And hopefully you enjoyed this new start at the waterfall. Take care. See y'all.